Okay. okay, let's start with the demo with the installation process. I'm going to share my screen for this process now. We are going to, to start with the installation process. These are the hardware that we are going to require. This is a virtual machine. We have two vCPUs, eight gigabytes of RAM, of RAM, and we have 20 gigabytes of storage. We have an operating system that is Ubuntu 24. This is the long-term support. We have Docker engine. This is the latest one, the 28th version. Also, this is the Minfos platform that we are going to, to use. Is available on the uh, GitHub, and we are going to, to start. We're going to use the command line. I'm going to log in into the virtual machine. I'm going to click on the bin button for the code. I'm going to copy the URL for the GitHub. I'm going to clone the repository. It is being cloned. So then it is ready to do the changes for my server. We have two flavors. One is for MariaDB and the other is for PostgreSQL. I'm going to use the MariaDB version. We will find the Docker Compose YAML file. I'm going to do some changes because instead of listening the local host, I'm going to use the IP of the server. So then I can reach these services outside of the, of the server. So So this is the endpoint that, that I'm going to use. I have saved my changes and I'm going to start the, the service. It's using the Docker Compose command with the op op option plus the detach it in order to keep it running on the background. And I'm going to add a Docker Compose with the logs option and the follow in order to see what is happening in the background it will start to download the images images are required to run on the docker compose one is the finerac server another is the web app finerac server is the backend it exp exposes all the apis web app is the front end it is an angular application and the my, MariaDB, which is the database that will persist all the information that I'm going to, to share with all of you. So we are, we, we are seeing the logs. Uh, they are showing all the entities that are being created in the database. It will take a while depending on the computer. So it will start to create the connection to the database and then the scripts will create all the tables and columns required for the Apache Finirac, which is the backend service. This is the minimal setup required. 
um, if you got a better computer or if you add more resources, the startup will be faster. And also there are any other configurations for, uh, for having a faster st uh, startup. But remember, this is the, the basic setup. And also I want to encourage you to include any security setup, like a firewall, like digital certificates, uh, like a uh, WAF, web application firewall, in order to prevent any, in, in, any uh, intrusion. And let me now share my, my screen because the system showed that it has been started already. I'm going to use the IP. Remember to use the port 80, which is the non-secure port. So then you can log in. As I have mentioned, this is the basic setup. The credentials are MIFOS as a username. And password is the default password that must be changed immediately after the initial login. We never should, we never must store the credentials. On the web browser, it will show an initial warning. And from here, you can start to create clients and you can start also to create financial products. Uh, we are going to upload more videos for showing the functionality from this point. Thank you.